with Ivana Lynch. And we wanted to find out what your favorite part of Diagon Alley is seeing it in person. If there's a favorite little piece of it or a favorite experience that you've had so far. To be really honest, I haven't seen it fully back together. I just saw when it was in build mode a few months ago. It was pretty much a building site. But I think I'm most excited about just the whole entrance, you know, where uh, it goes from Mother London into Wizarding World. Because um, definitely when I've been here before, I always found it. It's so amazing and immersive, but a little bit like it takes you a second to be like, oh, okay, we're in Hogsmeade, or we're in we're in the Wizarding World. So I think that that kind of mental transition from Muggle to Wizard is it, it's just done so nicely from what I saw. But I'm excited to see it all put together. And then I'm I love roller coasters. So. And how would you compare it to the film sets? You know, the, the experience on shooting the actual films versus being able to walk through based on what you've seen in the walk through and also in Hogsmeade? It's a lot more real. Uh, on the film set, a lot of it was green screen or it would either just be a part of a staircase or like we would never have the full set all together. Uh, always there would be a, a wall missing and you know, there'd, there'd be a lot of fake, fake things around. Um, so yeah, this is a lot more immersive and you definitely can believe in, 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 the, in, this, in this spectacle and in the, in the environment they've created. Um, where to, on set you would sell things that would fall over, so awesome. um, yeah, more real than the film Thank 
and thank you very, very much. A splendid welcome to all of us and to all of you. I want to wish you a warm welcome to the visiting world of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley. Visiting World of Harry Potter Diagon and I, we are so pleased that all of you are with us this evening for this special preview of this marvelous extension of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Many of you, many of you, I had a chance to circulate a little bit earlier and saw many of you that joined us back in June of 2010 for the opening of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogsby. And what a grand celebration that was. And we knew as we embark upon this journey to bring the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to Diagon Alley. We had a pretty Diagon Day hurdle that we had to deal with. Because we knew the expectation from all of you, from the fans from around the world, would be very, very high when it comes to Diagon Alley, just as it was for the Hogwarts Castle and of course Hockley. So we decided to plus it up a bit. And that's called Hogwarts Express. If you hear the whistle just a few moments ago, the conductor's right. Some special guests are going to be joining us in just a few moments. So now, we're going to prepare another coming. Two lands, plus the Hogwarts Express, something very unique and special. And we're so pleased to have you all here tonight. In just a few moments, you'll be amongst the first to have ever seen the real, the one and only, Diagon Alley. So, thank you for coming. this evening, thank you for coming. Now some of you today may have heard that we made a special announcement, and I'm thrilled to confirm that the grand opening day of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Donagon, not Diagon Alley, is July 8th. We are excited to be able to officially welcome guests to Diagon Alley on that day around the world. But for now, Mm, Let's so begin our video and give you all a chance to experience Diagon Alley for yourselves. And it just so happens that there's someone here right now who can help us do this the proper and right way. What do you say, Avi? Can we do this just like Edward did? Um, yes, I'll thank you very much. I'll be here later. Sir Jack fashioned him one, 
from an elder tree that grew nearby. Then the second brother, who was an arrogant man, decided that he wanted to humiliate death still further and asked for the power to recall others from death. So death picked up a stone from the riverbank and gave it to him. of invisibility. In due course, the brothers separated, each for his own destination. The first brother traveled to a distant village where he sought out a wizard with whom he had once quarreled. Naturally, with the elder wand as his weapon, he could not fail to win the duel that followed. Leaving his enemy upon the floor, the oldest brother proceeded to an inn where he boasted loudly of the powerful wand he had snatched from death himself made him invincible. But that very night, another wizard crept upon the oldest brother as he lay upon his bed, whereupon he stole the wand that with it, the brother's life. So death took the first brother for his own. Meanwhile, the second brother took the stone that had the power to recall the dead and turned it thrice in hand. To his amazement and his delight, the figure of the girl he had once hoped to marry before her untimely death appeared at once before him. Yet soon she Marvel, that delectable diva, the spectacular singing sorceress herself.